Hey YouTube, so I wanted to come today to do a quick flip of my current um, everyday carry planner wallet setup. So this is my Giulio Campagna in the medium size in the orange color. I have other videos of um, setups in this planner on my channel so you can go check those out as well. This is probably very similar to those videos um, because my system pretty much stays very much the same. Um, so I was previously using my Hobonichi Cousin um, and I really, really love this planner and I, I'm going to come back to this and I, I, can, I can film a video of this if anybody's interested. Um, but I wanted to be able to use my wall, my planner as my wallet again. Um, I was using, I had shown like in another video, the wallet that I was using. I don't, I don't have it here with me, so I can't show you, but, um, and, and I liked it. It worked out well, but, um, I just missed having like everything with me together, all together in one like portable little package. Um, so I, I've. I routinely use two planners, so when I when I was when I used this, I was also using a Hobonichi Weeks, um, and so so it's not really that big of a deal for me to use two planners, um, but I really like this because it has everything that I need, all the information that I need on the go, so I don't have any need to carry this with me in to work or to school or whatever because everything I need is in here. Whereas with the um, Hobonichi Weeks, I would have to carry this with me still because I didn't transfer, I didn't um, put all the information in here into that planner as well. So all of that to say, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the Giulio Campagna in the orange color. I got this from the Buy Sell Trade Group. It's definitely um, uh, has some beauty marks on it, but it does not bother me in the slightest. I love the way it looks. It just got like a nice pretty scratch right there. Um, it Like I said, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. So um, I use this as a wallet. So this is where I put my cash budget. So I just have some papers with some tabs for my different budget system uh, categories. Today is bank day, so there's no money in there. In this little zipper pocket, I put coins. I just keep a couple of coins in there. Uh, here I have some sticky notes and a super sweet card that the lady at Chick-fil-A gave me for a free treat. Uh, and then back here in this pocket, I just have some stamps. So here on the leather fly leaf, I have this um, card that I printed from an Etsy shop. This is like one of my favorite songs of all times. So um, I really love having this here. Um, on this fly leaf, I have my mild liner. I didn't want to clip it directly to the, I didn't want to clip this pen loop directly to the leather. So I put this little um, piece of card here to protect the leather and it does a good job and I, I don't, it doesn't bother me one bit. Then I have my Ollie clip. Um, my dividers and my inserts are from Hobby Lobby. This is like their own, the Hobby Lobby brand. I don't have them here, so I can't show you what they look like. Um, but they're from Hobby Lobby and they're really, they're really nice quality. Um, I really like the paper, um, and they're really sturdy. So I, I don't have any complaints with them at all. Uh, so this first section is my note section. So this is my grocery list. This is actually my grocery list for today. I just write it out on um, regular Filofax paper. Um, and then this is the fly leaf that I got from Amazon. I put some of that, um, that glittery sticker paper on it. And then this is a quote from Brene Brown that I also found online. I love Brene Brown. If you have not like read any of her, she's an author, and if you have not read any of her books, I highly, highly recommend them. They are, she's fabulous. Um, I really love her. And she's a Houstonian, so that's even cooler to me. Um, this is my online purchase list. This is old from, two, this is from 2017, so I've just been using this side to write all my recent purchases since getting back into this planner. Um, this is uh, like a um, ongoing shopping list. So if I think of something I need, oh, I need trash bags, I'd mark it on here. And then whenever I sit down to do my weekly um, grocery list or shopping list, I refer back to this sheet. And this is for my grocery store or Target. And then this is for online stuff or Amazon. 
Uh, this is my brain dump. So I just, at the beginning of May, I just write down a list of all the things I need to do. And as the month goes on, I just continue to add to it. Um, as I get things done, I check them off. I highlight things that are, that are more time specific. So whenever I do my weekly, um, Whenever I do my weekly planning, I'll look at this list and I'll go through and I'll highlight things that I want to get done. So that's that. This is my waiting on list. So I um, anything that I am waiting on that's not like something that I ordered or whatever, then um, that goes on this list. And then I created this mind sweep list. Um, this is inspired by Brandy Michelle plans. I just kind of tailored it to what I needed and printed it out on just regular paper, put some washi on it, and um, slit the holes. I slit almost all of my pages, so that way I can easily take them in and out. And so I'll, every month when I do my monthly planning, I'll come, I or when I do my weekly planning, I'm sorry, I assess this and another sheet, which I'll show you in a minute. Sorry about the glare, I didn't realize that. Um, this is just some note paper from Peanuts Planner Co. This was a free printable, I think, on her Facebook group. Um, and so this is my, I, I subscribe to Audible, which is how I am able to read books because I have long commutes. And so I listen to the books in my car while I'm commuting. And so I've been able to read all of these books since January, which is huge for me because um, I'm a student or I was a student. Um, and time is just, I'm, I'm a mom and I work and so time is not on my side, but, um, using audible and listening to them in my car has been a huge lifesaver. So then I just have a couple of extra sheets of note of that note paper, which is so pretty. Um, and then these are some previous shopping lists and a previous brain dump, which I could throw away, but I like, I, I don't want to get. Um, then next is my calendar section. This is my name that I got from C. Amy Draw. I just printed it out on paper and then stuck some of that glittery um, sticker paper from my uh, Hobby Lobby on top of that. I have another one of these flyleafs with some these Filofax flyleaf Swiss uh, sticky notes on them. This is a year at a glance from Peanuts Planner Co. And then I just have my husband's work holidays, which I need to put on there. And then days, my daughter's daycare is closed. This is just uh, a birthday list. And then here I have a pullout tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. And on the back, I put um, my gratitude log. So um, I really like having a monthly tracker. I use my I use the first section of my Hobonichi as a tracker. So I really like that. And I just keep it here in the front. It slit, I slit the pages, the holes, so I can easily take it in and out and fill it out every day. Um, and then this planner comes with like uh, tabs for each month, which I really like. So this was April, this is what the month looks like. So these are reusable, which I could take this out, but um, I'm gonna keep it in for now. And I can use this again next year and the next year and the next year, which is super awesome. This was April, the months are undated. So I just, I just write in the dates and then I put this sticker in here from a sticker pack that I got from Target. Um, I color code everything. Like, I mean, this is what my months look like no matter what planner I'm in, no matter what system I'm using. So no real decoration besides that. Um, everything is highlighted or color coded and that's it. Um, this is just a running list of my bills. And then the weekly section, this is what the week looks like. This is two different weeks, um, so just ignore that. But um, the weeks are undated as well. So this was last month, this was last week. So this is what last week looks like. It's a week on two pages. I highlight important stuff. I create like checklists for date specific things. And then I have like a page in the middle that I use for my daily to-do list. And that's how that looks. And then I'll just put sticky notes for any write out longer to-do list or whatever, things that don't fit down here, whatever. So this is May, I just clipped that on there. This page um, marker is from Hobby Lobby as well, from the same line as these things. So this is how this month looks. 
And then this is this week. So these are just some notes because it's a busy couple of days. And so I just want to, I just have lists upon lists upon lists. Um, but this is my current week. So I just fill in the date. Like I said, everything is highlighted. It's, I still color code. So um, I know at a glance kind of who is where and what is for who. This is just running to-do list down this side. My meal plans are on are down here. Um, oh, oh my goodness. That was very strange. I keep um, kind of an, a big to-do list down here that in, stuff that's not date specific and I refer back to this list. I pull from this list and I'll put it here or if there's something on this list that is date specific, I'll put it, you know, here or whatever. I write my workouts up here, which obviously I have not done very well at this week, but that's okay. Um, and then up here, I'll usually put my zone cleaning. So whatever zone I'm in, I'm just trying to run through all my zones this week to kind of get my house back in order. And then starting next week, I'll start back at zone one. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of how this looks. And then I keep a daily page in the middle. So this is my zone cleaning list. This is my cleaning list of all the things that I needed to get done. Um, and this is just kind of what it looks like. So I'll highlight the day, which I didn't highlight this one. And then, you know, mark off things. Okay, baby, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. My toddler needed to go to the bathroom. Um, so yeah, that's the week. And then on Thursdays, I do my meal plan. Um, and so when I do my meal plan, I like to have my next week kind of kind of ready so I can write in what I plan on eating. So usually on Thursdays, I'll kind of pre-plan next week the things that I have that are specific, that are, that are already like date and time specific appointments I'll put on here. And that information I just pull straight from here. And so that way I'll know like, okay, this is where we'll be on this day and this is gonna be a late day for him. So we need to make something easy, quick and easy for dinner. And so that's how I meal plan. Um, and I just kind of pre-plan this out and highlight things as appropriate. So this is not my full week setup, but this is just kind of the skeleton, the outline. And you can see that the next week I have absolutely nothing. <clears throat> so this, and then I keep this here because on Sundays I do my weekly planning. Um, or my planning for the next week. So this is my weekly review. So this is also inspired by Brandy Michelle plans, but again, I, I um, customized it to my needs. Um, and so I'll look at, so whenever it's time to do this week, I'll look at this, I'll pull this out, I'll pull my sheets out too, um, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And then I'll look at last week, I'll look at my daily page, my like daily, log and I'll go through each one of these things and make sure that everything is checked off. If there's anything that needs to be migrated forward, I will go ahead and make sure that I do that. Um, I look at my weekly pages, my week, my week at a glance, make sure that there's anything that didn't get done there is migrated forward to the next week. And then I will look at my, um, brain dump and make sure that, see if there's anything there that needs to get done and just kind of go through my calendar, my emails, my my um, text messages, and all of that stuff, just to make sure that I have everything, everything that needs to get done, I have captured and transposed onto these pages. So that is my week, and this, like I said, is undated. So I have plenty of weeks there. Then I have June, and I already have that one kind of laid out because I have appointments going into June. I don't have any weekly pages here. I don't need any right now. And then July and August. And I don't know if I have anything on September. I don't, but that's September. Uh, then my next section is, it was previously my work section. I need to change this tab. This is kind of now just my personal or my project section. So I have this clear divider, which I've had before. This is kind of my graduation to-do list. Graduation is tomorrow, so excited. So this was kind of my graduation to-do list. Um, this is like the overall to-do list and some other things that I need to do. This was my final like push for school. These were all the things I needed to get accomplished for school. Um, so it was easy for me to just check, 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 check and see what I needed to do overall at a glance. Um, these are some gifts that my girlfriend and I are, are doing. So my husband's birthday, we signed my daughter up for swim lessons, so that's that. 
Um, then the next section is my home section. So this is kind of like my family section. So um, I have another fly leaf. I kind of keep a fly leaf with sticky notes at the beginning of each section just for easy, um, so I can easily grab sticky notes as I need them. This is the family measurement tracker. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, this is just kind of my health log. I don't have all my my um, providers' names in here. This is something that I made a long time ago that I just kept in here. Um, medications, this is for my husband. He doesn't have any. He was sick for a while. Um, he was having some kind of strange health issues. And so um, I just wanted to keep track of that. Then this is my daughter section and this is her school stuff, her health stuff. I don't have that filled out either. Um, and then she, anytime she gets sick, I just write down her health blog as well. This is our doctor visit tracker, also from Peanuts Planner Co. This is my pet page. I need to update this um, with my new dog because he's had some health issues. So I, I need to update this, um, but I kept it in here. This is our car, so I have like our license plate number, VIN numbers, all of that stuff, just anything that you would need at, um, quickly. This is cemetery decorations for my mom because I like to decorate her um, gravesite by the seasons and the holidays. This is my zone cleaning list. This is all stuff you've seen. None of this is new. Then this, uh, this is my personal section. So this one is my projects section, projects. And this is my personal section. Um, another quote from that uh, same Etsy shop. So I still have these you've seen before, my work and school tabs. So work, I just have my license number, any um, awards, any um, like my BLS, ACLS, CCRN, like those things when they expire. CEUs, because that's important. This is my school section, so this had all my important login information. This is my degree plan. I haven't finished filling this out, but everything is done. Um, this is my like prayer list. So this is, uh, I have a, a prayer binder, and so this information came from that. I just put it all on one page, and then I had a copy of this in there, and I printed it out smaller for in here. So this is praying daily for your husband. So it's very small, but it has the days of the of the month, and so you just say, oh, today's 10th, I need to pray for love, and so here's a prayer that I can pray for him. And then I have the same thing for my child, so I can pray for her every day as well. And then I just have a couple of contact sheets which are not filled out right now. Then my last section is my finance section. So I have the um, pull out the bill finance routine from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I really liked using this so far. Um, I don't normally keep my bill stuff in my personal planner. I keep like some financial stuff, but I don't keep like any bill trackers or anything like that or any bill amounts because I keep that on an Excel spreadsheet. But it is nice to be able to ensure that everything is being paid on time. That hasn't been a problem in the past because I have a routine where every Thursday I look over all of my bills. Um, and at the beginning of the month, I set up my budget at the end of the month, I close out my budget. And so that's just kind of been my routine for a year, for several years. But, um, so I don't really need anything that reminds me to pay anything, but I will say that it is very nice to have this. So it reminds me like, okay, what, what, when, what else do I still have to come out for this month? Kind of a thing. Um, and just to make sure that I'm staying on top of my weekly budget update and going to the bank and getting my cash out and all of that stuff. So this is really nice. This is my cash budget system. I just write it out every single month. That was April. This is May. Um, super simple. I scratch out things. That, this is just my own personal system. So there's really... This is um, some credit card. This is like the... Um, I don't know what you call these, checkbook registers from Filofax. And so I have one for the two credit cards that we have. I just kind of keep a running total of what we spend um, and how much we pay on them. This is our health spending account. So this is um, a running list of how much we've spent. This is my daughter's savings account. And then I have one of these Filofax card holders in here. I just have my insurance card, my BLS, my ACLS, our, home, our uh, auto insurance card and then some like rewards cards. And then in this last 
folder. This is uh, also from Filofax. I just keep coupons, so any kind of coupons that I have, I keep in there. And then I have this um, page lifter thing from Filofax as well. Sorry, I'm just gonna, this has something that's very close to my address on it, so. Um, and then lastly, this is like my credit, my uh, card pocket. So if you remember my previous videos, you, my previous video about this planner, I didn't understand why, like I couldn't understand why these things, every time I take a card in and out, these, this inside thing would come out with it. And so it was very annoying. And so that's one of the reasons why I changed out of this planner. And um, when I changed back in, it was still happening, of course. Um, but I got smart this time. And so I created these little pieces. I cut these pieces of vellum down to size and I just slipped them, slid them in there and they, they're just folded in half pieces of vellum. So now I can stick my cards in here and stick this. Sorry, it came out again. So stick this in here. And so it's super easy now to just make sure that I stick my card in the middle of the vellum and my cards come in and out super easy. So I, I thought that that was basically genius that I, that I did that. So, um, so now I'm much happier with this. So I can easily just take things in and out while I'm at the store and the little inside thing doesn't come out and, um, I have no problems. So now I'm really happy with that. Um, and then in this back pocket, I have, um, some stickers. Sorry, this is like, this is like stuck. I don't know what this material is, but it's, it's very sticky. It's very sticky. Um, so I have some Willowfield stickers, a receipt, and then my daughter's, a card for my daughter's bank account from her bank. Then for my pen, I have, this is the Zebra Sarasa pen. This is like the metal barrel. Um, this pen came in 0.7 ink and I don't like 0.7 ink. So I changed it out for a Intergel 0.5 ink because it was the same size, the same size refill. So I like that. And then back here in this pocket, I just have some papers, some bills, and some notes. And that is it. I have really been enjoying this setup. Um, I enjoy the portability of this. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't have any complaints or anything right now. So if there's any questions, if you wanna know where anything is from, just leave it down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.